ears. Look at this cop's ears. Wait. Oh no, I can kick the police. I was a little bit scared for a second that I wasn't allowed to kick the police. We'll just roll them. We'll just give them a little roll. We'll just give them a little roll down the road. Just get the bar. Just high enough, but not quite to where we're gonna get arrested. Welcome to Self Growth, the gaming show where I play games I played as a kid. We're back to Simpsons Hit and Run, episode two. I'm having a little bit of regret about starting this game because I realized last episode that I'm bad. The driving is really hard. It's a little bit silly and wacky and out of control. But listen, I have to at least see the other levels. So I actually, I'm taking this so seriously. I did a little bit of off-camera mining. I got on here and practiced for a while. I like tried to do some of the street races. I got more of a feel for the for the driving. Homer's been on the road, drifting, learning how to do tight corners. Homer's been grinding and I've been grinding on him. So last time I sucked, let's make this time a success. Um, so as you can see, I have been doing some grinding. I wasn't lying about doing some grinding. Look at my car collection, you guys. This one comes with a man. <laughs> this one comes with a man in it. And he's so happy to see me. I think I got this from Cletus. I I did complete Cletus's mission off camera. I'm sorry if you wanted to see that. Just imagine someone completing that mission really epically and that's pretty much what happened. I think what I needed to do right now is just go in my house and it's gonna show us that cutscene again. And then I have to chase the surveillance van. I am 90% sure that this is the mission I never completed as a kid. I don't think I could ever do this one. I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm literally nervous. This one is so hard. I have to do like a full lap around the whole town. Sweet. <laughs> Please. No, no, no. Okay, take two, take two. Getting in the car. Getting in the car, peeling out of the driveway. We're gonna be we're gonna be doing some drifting today, guys. Did you see that drift? Okay, this is what I learned. I've been studying. I've been studying the pink sedan like you wouldn't believe. I think all I have to do is not let him get away. I don't think my goal is to pass him. I think my goal is don't let him get away. Expert, expert driving right now. Oh, oh, he's going through the trailer park and I am too. Do you see how focused I am? This is the problem with Homer's car. This is the problem with Homer's car. The back of it flops around like a fish. You run into one little thing, the back of this car is going to the other side of the world. I think the van is slowing down for me a little bit though. He's taking the shortcut, I'm taking the shortcut, okay? This is like, I can't believe this isn't the final challenge of this level because this requires you to know the ins and outs of the road like crazy. <laughs> Look at him, he does not give a fuck. I'm about to make it in here before him. Shortcut. Fuck. Fuck. It's okay. It's okay. He's behind me. He's behind me. I'm ahead of the man. Catch up. I don't want my bar to go down because he's behind me. Okay. We're back on the same page, guys. I could probably actually fail the mission by going too far ahead of the man. This is a weird part of town. This part of town is like... Not the part of town I'm used to. I did it? So it was Mr. Burns, is that what I just said? Because it went in here? So the guy just drove straight to his house? He had to know I was following him. He did not care about being found out, I guess. I can't even believe. You guys, I really have improved because I did that so easily and last time I was struggling hard. Look, shortcut to the grocery store. You wouldn't believe what I'm capable of these days. Gorgeous, I'm slaying. Oh, this is a grocery store. I never even noticed this. Hello, wife. Mr. Burns is spying on everybody. We've got to follow him. Not now, Homer. A new violent video. This is uncharted streets, territory. And we need to get rid of it before it warps any children with its bloops and bleeps. But that game. Oh my god, Marge is anti video game? Be destroyed. Marge is an enemy of gamers everywhere. Never mind, we hate Marge. Wait, what? Hit the delivery truck and collect the games. Where's the delivery truck? Is it coming? Is this Marge's car? Is this lore? Oh, wait. Oh. You almost I ran over some children in the process, but guess what? They can't play the violent video game if they're dead. Look at me drifting. No, I never knew Marge had a different car. Marge has her own car. Can women do that? Do I have a time limit? Oh, I do. I should try harder. We just gotta keep bumping them. Wait, this is the strat. Keep reversing into him, he'll keep dropping things, right? 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 Oh, this is easy. This is not even a big deal. We just gotta keep grinding into him. Today is all about grinding. Oh my god. You just keep grinding into the guy, he'll drop whatever you want. 10 out of 10. 
And we knocked out so many children on the way. Two birds with one stone, am I right? Is that canon? Marge has a car? I thought she was just stuck in the house. I poor crazy plan. Now if you'll excuse me, I have to go spy on my boy. Okay, slay! So... We only have one- okay, this is actually the last mission of this level. You guys, I'm making progress. Drive to the power plant. Gladly I will do that. Can I use Marge's car? I liked that. It was a little bit swag. Guys, I can't believe I actually like practiced a game and my skill increased. Are you telling me that's all I have to do to get good is try? Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. You guys should really know- oh, I actually avoided all of them. The trailer park residents are safe. They should know by now if they see, th if they see this pink sedan coming. Run. Wait, the NPC car is going through the shortcut. I didn't even know that was possible. Look at me slaying. Okay, that's a lot Carl. Good. Look, Lenny and Carl just walk around the parking lot. This whole game, every time I come to the power plant, Lenny has just been walking around the parking lot aimlessly. Hey, Homer. You look like you're having one of your trademark adventures. Danger. No work-life balance. Oh no, he's going to Warren Burns. I can't believe I'm racing the same guy twice in one day. What do you mean? This is like the same thing I just did. What? Whoa! <laughs> okay, Homer, take a million years to get in your car. Didn't I already destroy Smithers' car? It's the same car! You guys, earlier this same day, according to the game's story, I reduced Smithers' car to like four sticks taped together. And now here he is driving again. Look, I took the shortcut, I'm ahead of him now. I'm always doing this. I'm so fucking good at this now. Oh my god. It's actually becoming a little bit fun now that I'm better at it. Whoa! Stay on course, stay on course. I'm afraid I'm rediscovering something I rediscover about every six months, which is that sometimes actually trying in a video game can be fun. Where am I gonna put Look at me killing it with these shortcuts. Positively slaying, he is catching up. Why is he catching up so fast? Fuck you! The way I'm focusing, you've never seen, you've never seen. Stop, 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 stop. Oh my god, that's the floppiness I'm talking about. No, I'm doing the jump, I'm doing the jump. Easy, easy. He's so close behind me. No! Fuck you! No! At the very end. Why is he so fast? No! <laughs> Listen, the first time I took about a million years to get in my car, so this time should be better. The thing is, I think the AI is like slowing down and speeding up weirdly. See, he never does this shortcut. He's too scared. He's too much of a pussy to get his, to get his ass wet. Ass wet? I meant ass on fire. No. I meant like ass toasted. I don't know why I said ass wet. I suppose maybe because you would like sweat going over that? I don't know. I have no excuse for what I just said. He's probably too scared to go through the field too though. He's probably too scared of like hurting people's personal property. It's so funny that it has to do that cutscene every time I do that. Wait, what if I just went through the power plant? Do I have to go this way? We're going the long way. Isn't Mr. Burns Mansion through the power plant? Can I try that? Because this is all a circle. No. That's stupid. Why would we be going this way? That's so funny. I thought I could big brain it for a second. That would be hilarious. You know, if this is supposed to be a comedy game, that would be funny. Oh my god, the drift. Dude, it's like, I have such a light but accurate touch with the drift. Through the driveway, through the billboard. Not him doing that too. Ugh. Oh no, Homer. Can I even catch up? This is the thing though, I think if, if they get ahead of you, they kind of slow down a little bit. At least that's what I'm telling myself. No, Homer. Homer, you've really fucked it now. Like, he's definitely slowing down ahead of me and then speeding up when he's behind me. It's ridiculous. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. He always gets me at the end. Please. Oh my god, I almost didn't make that. He gets ahead of me when I'm drifting, oh my god. No! This is not possible. Fuck, 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 fuck. That was crazy! That was crazy close. That was the last mission, you guys. I'm about to- I'm about to level complete. I'm about to level up. I'm shaking and sweating. My ass is wet. Look at him swagging in the all-green suit. I like that color. I'm gonna be real. They were only pizza vans! Everyone sucks but me. You guys, I've completed the level. I think when I hit A, we go to the next level, we go to a new place. I think I've gotten farther than anyone's ever got in this game. We're about to enter a whole new world right now. Hello, everyone.
everybody. We're back to that period of the year where I am recording things in my backyard. There are neighbors outside. I'm just addicted to being the village weirdo, what can I say? I'm here today to talk to you about a movie called Encino Man. Okay, I mentioned Encino Man in my last episode and uh, realized that quite a few of you probably haven't seen it. Terribly reviewed movie, but for some reason was a staple of my childhood. My most important opinion about this movie is there's a character in it named Stoney. I am here today to spread the message that Stoney is based. I suppose you might need some background on what the movie is about. It is about Sean Astin and Polly Shore digging up Brendan Fraser, who is a caveman, who has been in a precisely man-sized ice cube since, I assume, the caveman days. Sean Astin digs him out of the ground in this perfectly per preserved ice cube in the middle of a hot California day while he's digging a pool. Sean Astin's character is named Dave. Stoney is his best friend. Stone. Stoney! The name and his personality in the movie would imply that he's like a stoner character, but nobody, nobody smokes weed in this movie. There's no weed. Now, my first important point that I have to make is that Dave is an asshole. Um, like, Dave sucks. He has a big crush on this girl named Robin. She's become a major babe and she loves me. She finds you crusty, Dave. I'll convince her. And he's really obsessed with getting Robin, mainly because he thinks she's hot, and he's really obsessed with being popular, and he also thinks being with Robin will make him popular. Hey, you had history, pre-freshman history. You could have had her back then, man. She hadn't hit babehood yet. He's just about the most unlikable character I've ever seen. He's a huge creep. There's one of the weirdest scenes in the movie is he goes up to Robin at a party that he was explicitly not invited to and has brought with him a picture of him and Robin as babies naked in a tub together. Robin, don't forget, we've been naked together. <laughs> nice body. Yeah, I remember when we were together. Did you show this to anyone? No. No, that's your copy. You can show anyone you want. Thanks, Dave. Okay. And I guess that's supposed to be enticing to her. That's that's like a flirting tactic. I cannot wrap my head around why anyone would think that was a normal, fun, flirty thing to do. It's really mind-boggling. Anyway, so because Dave is so obsessed with popularity, he is trying to use the fact that he dug up a caveman to somehow make himself popular. The exact steps with which that would happen are a mystery to everybody else in the movie and myself. Stony on the on the other hand, is vibing. He is not concerned about what anyone else thinks. This could mean, this could mean fame or money or popularity. Far too much responsibility for me. Anyways, I'm already popular. Look, you were here. You're part of it. I won't be part of anything, Dave. I'm happy just to be me. He has unshakable confidence and self-love that is just far beyond his years as a teenager. <laughs> I mean, I do not know why him and Dave would be friends. That's like one of the main questions I have when I watch this movie is why would Dave and Stoney be friends? Okay, Stoney has some really sophisticated lines in this movie about like society. <laughs> he like recognizes how arbitrary society is. He's like, I'm just gonna do me. High school was interesting, right? But it was kind of like a harsh ride. Ah, 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 ah. We're going on to bigger and better things, buddy. And then one of the main kind of conflicts of the movie comes from the fact Dave wants to use the caveman for selfish reasons, and Stoney just wants to be friends. We found him. We can do whatever we want with him. We, 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 no, no, no. You, you, you. I just want to be his friend. <sighs> He just wants to be friends with the guy. He's like, we found a caveman that's so cool. We should help him out. I mean, he's even anti-capitalist. Like, to be honest, it takes a couple watches of this movie, or like, maybe you just had to understand Polly Shore language. I'll say right now, I don't know anything about Polly Shore other than this movie. Okay, so don't tell me, don't try to bring up anything else about Polly Shore. I only know him from this movie. But it like takes a couple watches to understand what he's trying to say. He calls stealing things wheezing, which I think is like short for weasel. Anyway, so this, this brings us the legendary phrase, wheeze the juice. This is what put this place on the map. Oh. What are you doing, Mrs. Stoney? No, 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 you can't do this. You can't do this. Link and I are cruising the mountain, bro, and we figure we's a little juice. No, we zing the juice. We's the juice. No, 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 we zing the juice. 
Go wheeze the juice! I don't know why the phrase wheeze the juice has had such a profound effect on my brain. It's like the one thing that I've always remembered from this movie since I was a kid. And every single time I see a slushy machine, I am thinking about wheezing the juice. I've never done it, but I feel like maybe that should be a bucket list item. It's like one day I should wheeze the juice. The conflict between Dave and Stoney really comes to a head in one of the last scenes, which is like, this is by far the funniest thing that happens in the whole movie, which is that you know how in like a movie about a dog, there'll be a scene where the owner like abandons the dog on the side of a road for some reason and it's like really sad. They're like, you'll be better off without me. They leave the dog on the side of the road and drive away and it's like really emotional. They do that scene, but with a human being because Dave <laughs> tries to abandon Brendan Fraser the way that you would abandon a dog on the side of a road. Things just didn't turn out right. I mean, I don't want them cutting you up into little pieces or anything. This is just what's best for you. It's best for me too, all right? This conceptually is so hilarious. The idea of leaving a human being on the side of a road and driving away and like hanging your head, shaking your head and being like, oh, so sad, but he'll be better off without me. That alone is so funny. I love that that happened. I love that this movie brought us that. But of course, Stoney comes along, sees this happening. Stoney and Dave have a fight. You're the one who wheezed off his gig the whole time because you thought maybe he'd get you somewhere. And now the guy gets a little crusty and you're just gonna bag him. It's not happening, Dave. You came along for the ride, and you let me do the dirty work because you thought it might work out to your advantage. Those are desperate words of a loser. Everybody hugs. Dave still sucks, but like his wrath has been quelled in this moment. You know, not a lot really, not a lot really happens in this movie. In the end of the movie, for some reason, Dave still gets the girl. For some reason, Dave actually ends up with Robin. He's been nothing but a creep to her the whole time. And Stoney is still vibing. Okay, and Link, which is what they named the the caveman, he actually, like, his, his cave girlfriend wakes up from another ice cube. That's about it. I really just want to share the message that Stoney is based. I think the character got a lot of bad reviews, got a lot of bad press, was interpreted as, like, a stupid stoner character. But I feel like if this movie came out today, I think Stoney could be, like, a Gen Z icon. I think Gen Z would love Stoney. He is so, like, aware. <laughs> He's, like, introspective. He's outrospective. Um, okay, that's it for me. <laughs>
up and a gay. Did he say up, up and a gay? Is this game homophobic? Wait, Simpsons didn't run problematic? Hello, lady. My head is so much bigger than hers. This is what I'm talking about. People, people preemptively cringe when they're near my car. Like they just expect me to run over them. Look at me go. This is so fun. Look, driving in the city. Ugh, this is just like when I go to Chicago. Oh, oh, a cab. A cab. Look, I even, I, I I already put graffiti there. It says El Barto. Bart says A cab. He may or may not be homophobic, but he also says A cab. So you win some, you lose some. Look at me go. This is so fun. Look at this freaking highway interchange. No way I can actually drive around on all this. Yo, I was just sitting here saying all the maps are just circular, but this, this one is actually a little bit confusing. Maybe I should just try to do the objective. Not me being 10 years old calling people wannabes. Wait, there's something I can buy over here. Just an elementary school student going up to a grown man on the street to buy something. A limo for 150, look how dirt cheap this shit is. I'm buying both. Yo, I can't believe how cheap vehicles are these days. I will be driving the fire truck to my objective. Oh my God, it's so slow. Never mind, huge mistake. This is a people runner over though. If you need something to run over people, you don't even know how many people I can get at once with this thing. Whoa, this one's got moves. It had moves, but I have moves or -er. Literally, who was like, we're gonna make a Simpsons game and the enemies are gonna be flying cameras that look like these? Like dust, dust eaters. That's what you guys are. That's what my audience is, dust eaters. I don't make the rules. I just, I just, I'm just the messenger. Okay, avoid principal Skinner, drive to the try and save before Board time Simpsons runs out. Ever. I don't know why we are always in such a rush. And how am I supposed to know where Skinner is? Oh. No way I make that. No way I just made that. Wait, what? Is he trying to destroy me or what? I'm a little confused. Eat ass, fold ass, fold eaters. Did I just say eat ass? Hold on, when did this game come out and Bart Simpson was saying eat ass? I guess I avoided him by going the other way. Was that epic of me? I don't know where I'm going. How do you expect me to know where anything is? I just got here. There's so much going on here. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. When I run into somebody and I have to back up, it's the worst moment of my life. Easy. That was easy, actually. I'm just such an expert. Too late, losers. I got the last game. Why are all these children Why running around downtown stop? freely? <gasps> Some crazy lady destroyed all the rest. When will they learn? Video games don't kill people. They just kill their minds. That was funny because, like, we're playing a video game right now. Oh. No, that was so funny because like the video game is making a joke about like video games being bad. That's like meta. That's what we call like meta humor. It might be a little too deep for you guys to get. Dude, I gotta get all this extra stuff. Bart's allowed to park in the middle of the road. Um, this cop has like, look at his ears. Look at this cop's ears. Wait. Oh no, I can kick the police. I was a little bit scared for a second that I wasn't allowed to kick the police. We'll just roll him. We'll just give him a little roll. We'll just give him a little roll down the road. Just get the bar just high enough, but not quite to where we're going to get arrested. That's like a nuke halfway in the ground, I guess. It's just so wacky. It's so wild and wacky in this town. Oh, my objective is literally right there. I could have walked. Hello. Get that new game. Who cares? Video games are so late 90s. Illegal fireworks are all the rave now. Collect fireworks, avoid cheat. This is all about, about avoiding people. You guys, I'm so confused by this map. I feel like I got to a point with the first map where I was like, I had studied it. This one is crazy. There's so many turns. I, I still haven't even seen it all. Wait, so is he gonna give me fireworks? Your finest quality Chinese frog launchers, please. Here you go, two kilos of Chinese sky candy. Oh, enter Moe's. Now we finally see Moe's. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> Hello. Um, what a sad place this is. Look at these men absolutely chugging beers in complete silence. Okay, how do I talk, how do I talk to him? Sorry, bot. I can't serve booze to a minor. It ain't right. I'm here to buy fireworks. Oh, hell yeah. Like, guys, can we get some- can I put some music on for you? This is sad. <gasps> Child gambling! Yeah, I don't know about this scene. I don't know if I can get with this scene. 38 seconds? This game was made to stress me out. Am I overusing the drift? What do you guys think? Excuse me. 
No, I don't think that's possible. I think I'm an expert. Do these keep respawning? I swear these damn bees are respawning. Why do I need 10 million fireworks? Oh, wait. I collected all these fireworks and now it says drive to the police station. I like where this is going. I'm interested. This kid is everywhere. You guys, Ralph is in two different places in the first map and he's here too. There's like 20 different Ralphs that are everywhere all over the city. Now make with the works. My daddy's going to put you in jail. Hey, Cab. A cab. A cab applies to Ralph too. I'm sure you can understand. Whoa! He'll never do this. Fuck, 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 fuck. He'll never <laughs> He'll never be brave enough. He'll never be brave enough to do this. I do not have nearly the speed necessary to do that. He'll never find me on the roof! He'll never find me on the roof, you guys. Hacked, hacked. How is he gonna destroy me up here, huh? How is he gonna do it? Okay, gently reverse off the roof. Bart? Gently reverse off the roof. You must get off the roof, Bart. Bart, you must descend from the roof. Oh no, oh no, my wheels. The cop is losing his mind, does not know what to do. The car, my car is uh, broken. Do I just have to get away from him, is that it? My car is broken, my car is broken. He's coming after me, I'm scared, I'm scared. I'm pissing a little bit. Oh my God, I can't see, I can't see. What do you mean mission complete? By blowing up my car, I completed it? I guess he can't destroy my car if I do it first. Now, why would they make a flag like this? That is so scary. Look how many tall buildings are in the distance. Is Springfield like one of the most populated cities in America? There's New York, Los Angeles, and, and Springfield from The Simpsons. I'm having to talk to so many people. This is one mission. Yes, I have no time to converse with you. I must be the first to register my disgust on the internet regarding the new McBain film. Race the nerd to the Java server. Now, is that like a programming joke? Is that like a programming joke? Because like Java, like Java server, or, or, or am I the nerd for even thinking that? <laughs> Oh no, I'm the nerd in this situation. See, how am I supposed to race people? I'm not even used to the map. Oh, this car has horrible handling. I hate this guy's car. <gasps> I don't even know why we're doing this. Oh, that, that was the end of the race and I failed. This car is so slow though. How do you expect me to win a race? Fuck you. Jesus. There's no way. That car is so much faster than my car. I have to use this car? This is dumb. Shortcut, 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 shortcut. Wrong way, wrong way. <laughs> this is impossible, this car is so slow. Oh my God, the turn radius is huge. That just got a bit more rare. They speed up so fast in the races. When people get behind you, they speed they speed up to light speed. Like they gain Which nitro, it's crazy. Fuck you. This is impossible. Nobody has done this. I can't believe I have to I have to use this dumbass stinky car. Oh it's cr God. look at him speeding by me. We don't have deflector shields, you know. Oh. What's my name? Why, he'd slowed way down at the end. Why is everybody in such a rush? <laughs> Me playing a racing game? Why is everybody rushing? Have I slayed? How far am I in this level? I feel like I've done so much. Somehow that was three missions. I don't even know what was what. There's another salesperson over here. What do you have for me? Not my father. What are you doing here? I need your truck, Homer. Why should I give you that? Because I love you. <laughs> Pay up, sucker. You're charging your own son? I have so much money, sure. He's just hanging out in a parking lot? I'm so confused by the habits of the, the citizens of this town. Like, I'm curious if it works to just purposely destroy the vehicles of people you're racing. Can you also win with violence? Hello? Can you teach me how to have hair that grows out of your head instead of just the, the, a skin-like protrusion from your head? That's really what I am interested in. If you find me a World War II communication radio and a satellite, then my creation will live and we can play with it and enjoy the frolicking. Listen, it, the dialogue doesn't even matter because none of the missions make any sense anyway. If you're here for the lore, go somewhere else. <sighs> Everything's a- everything's a damn race in this racing game, you guys. Everybody's so much faster than me. It just says follow him, so it's just another one where I just can't lose him? 
Oh my god, he's a horrible driver. How did they program the AI to be bad? There's like a slider on the AI, I think, for um, regard for human life. There's a sanctity of life meter, and some of these guys have it all the way down. Like, where is he going? Um, you know I can't let you guys go unkicked, right? <laughs> That's not happening. Hey, Sprinkles Lamus, what's the deal? Didn't you hear? Herman's been robbed. Oh no, now where am I gonna get a radio? Am I speed running this level? Like, am I doing good? I feel like I'm getting a lot done. I feel like I'm being very productive. Not him hanging out in the middle of the highway. What are you doing? Um, do I know you, little dude? I need that radio you borrowed. God damn. They don't even ask me if I want to do a race. They just throw me right into it. Okay, I was exploring, though. I was exploring this highway interchange. I think, I think that might give me an advantage, is what I was about to say. Sometimes I forget I'm racing and I just kind of casually drive behind them like it's just a, like it's just a little following mission. Okay, we've passed the man. Right there, right there, right there. Just don't lose at the last second, dumbass. Oh my god. Guys, I seriously think I'm speedrunning. I think I'm amazing. I'm gonna have to stop here because this video is gonna get too long, but like, I'm absolutely slaying, you guys. I'm starting to think I can do this in less than 20 episodes. You might not have to see me play Hit and Run for the next two years straight. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>